Morning, ladies. Morning. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't want to send you to sleep straight away. Okay, uh, as, uh, as Claire said there, I'm uh, Yvonne from Greater Sport. We're a Greater Manchester charity and we change lives through sport and physical activity. So it's fantastic to hear from Lawrence and, and how he's working with an elite uh, athlete like Laura. Um, it has the power to change so many things to provide young people with real aspirations and belief in themselves to achieve not only within the sporting world but also in their day-to-day -day life. We do lots of programs to help young people into employment and volunteering which incidentally is where I started as a volunteer at Greater Sport nearly 15 years ago. So to be nominated as Director of the Year um, this year uh, was quite amazing with just a year in post. So thank you to the IOD for that. It's been great for my profile and it's kind of how I've ended up here today. So real opportunity, so thank you. So I'm gonna to talk to you today. You might think sport, physical activity, what's that gonna do with being brave? But, but there's a real message here. So I hope you've got open minds uh, and I can convince you that um, it's very, very important for you. So indulge me just for a moment and I want everyone to close your eyes, okay? Now think of our day-to-day -day lives, we're very busy, you might have families that you're dealing with, as well as your work in life. Some of you run your own business, some of you lead influential roles within other businesses. So it can be quite stressful, okay? Now I want you to picture a time where that finishes. So maybe your kids have grown up, um, you're finishing work and you're just about to plan your retirement. What kinds of things are you going to be doing? You know, is it lunch with the ladies, uh, some nice holidays, country walks, just enjoying some real quality time? How would you feel if all of a sudden that was taken out of your hands? And actually all the things that you'd planned and you wanted to do, you just were not able to do. That can happen. And it can happen as a result of poor health. But if today I could say to you, I can give you a miracle cure, and it's going to guarantee that you can age well, what would that be worth to you? Would you want to take it? Because I know I would. The cure that I can give you today can reduce the risk of some terrible, terrible diseases by over 50%. And it can also ensure that you don't die earlier than you might like to by 30%. And that's a really serious, serious message. I'm sure we all want to be on this earth longer, to spend time with our families, to see our kids grow up and their kids and so on. And I've got what you're looking for. Okay. Anybody give me a clue uh, what that might be? Oh, <laughs> Brucey bonuses for you ladies. Absolutely. People that do regular exercise are less likely to develop some of these long-term conditions that are going to limit us when we finally get to the point where we've got more spare time on our hands and we all want to get to that point. Don't just take my word for it though. These are hard facts and figures, okay? So when we think of coronary heart disease, cancers, osteoporosis, arthritis, all of these things, depression, dementia, none of us want to get any of those things. None of us want our families to get any of those things. And it is in our hands, ladies. So let's do something about it, okay? I want everybody to rise from your seats. It's gonna be a theme of the day, okay? As bad as not doing lots of exercise is sitting down too much. And I'm sure we all sit down, myself included, far, far, far too much. Okay. Now, if you do less than 30 minutes of activity a week, and it's no name and shame this, I just want to get a sense from the room, okay? Nobody's, uh, nobody's taking a picture. I'm going to share it, all right? Um, if you do less than 30 minutes, and that includes walking, but walking at a decent pace, not just having a little stroll. Sit down now. So if you do less than 30 minutes a week, you think, sit down. Okay. If you do less than 60 minutes a week, sit down for me. Okay, less than 90 minutes a week. That's an hour and a half a week of moderate intensity activity. You're getting quite hot and sweaty. Okay. What about two hours? If you do less than two hours a week, you think, sit down. 
I'm impressed. I don't need to do much convincing in this room. We've got quite an active bunch. Fantastic. Okay, 150 minutes. Anybody do less than 150 minutes? Okay. Thank you. Right. Anybody got an idea what we should be doing? Shout it out. Any ideas? 210. 164. Ooh, very precise. 164. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. In actual fact, the recommended daily, uh, weekly amount is 150 minutes. Okay. If you're in this age bracket. Now, that's quite a lot, um, but there's clearly a lot of you doing it, so massive congratulations to you. So for those of you um, who are still standing, um, any of you play tennis regularly? If you do, sit down. Okay, nobody does, so that's great. I've got a little prize for you, some little, uh, little things that I'm going to drop in. So I want to know, and I've not really told you everything that I want to tell you today, but I want two people who are going to be champions, who are going to kind of contact me, swap cards today, uh, and are going to be real champions back in your workplace. So if I can have two hands up first, you win a prize. Okay, two ladies there. Okay, uh, if you see me afterwards, I've got a goodie bag from um, British Tennis and Nike here. Uh, with some stuff in it, t-shirt, ball, uh, sweatband, water bottle, um, and a free session for a tennis Tuesday. So out there, ladies, there's some leaflets for you, okay? There's free sessions of tennis. Well, there isn't actually, but I'm going to give you some free. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've taken that steer off, Claire Marie. Um, so basically, there are 15 lots of tennis sessions happening just for women on a Tuesday. It's called Tennis Tuesday in association with Nike. Okay, so um, you two ladies get to go for free. And if anybody else would like to go, see me and I'll see if I can sort out a free session for you. Okay, sit down, everyone. Thank you for indulging me in, uh, in that. Well done. Okay, now 150 minutes, there's lots of people that do it, you put me to shame, I'm not sure I do that regularly each week, which is terrible, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes, but it is easy, so it's things like this morning, there was a couple of ladies walking in from the car park with me, and we were shown to the lift, and I thought, that's really bad of me, if I get in that lift, so I said, whoa, don't you think we should be using the stairs, uh, so a couple of ladies chose to get in the lift, and there was a few of us that walked up the stairs, walking up the stairs is a big difference, and think about that in your workplaces, uh, maybe brief your receptionist. Actually, when guests come, show them to the stairs first and let them ask for where the lift is. Little things like this, just 10 minute bursts is all we need throughout the day. Uh, and it really, really genuinely does make a difference. You know, there's active travel, cycling to work. If people have got um, people in their businesses who might like to cycle but they don't know where to start, we can connect you in with Transport for Greater Manchester. They do travel planning for businesses. They have some resource if you might need showers or bike storage, etc. So please again speak to me. There are ways we can build it into your working day. Walking meetings, you know, if you're on the phone in the office and you've got a mobile or whatever, just have a walk around while you're actually on the phone as opposed to sitting at your desk. Then there's some fun stuff that you can do as well. So this is a dodgeball competition, great at sport run. Um, workplace games, we do it Every, every month, different sports. You can come in fancy dress. Some people really took that to the next level, which was fantastic. Um, but there's stuff you can do in your office as well. So we've got a ping pong set set up in our office, and every now and then people just get up and have a knock about, and it just gives you a bit of headspace and a bit of, uh, a bit of low impact activity. Okay. Now I've got a couple of questions. We haven't got loads of time, so maybe just speak to the person that's next to you. I want you to ask. What mo what's going to motivate you to be more active, okay? Because I'm really interested. So just maybe two seconds, well, not two seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Just have a quick chat amongst yourself, and I want a few people to throw me some ideas out. Okay, ladies, sorry to bring you back. That's less than 30 seconds, but I am running out of time. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> I'm never going to show you up, am I? <laughs> okay, who wants to share with me? What's going to motivate you? Okay, ladies, we've got somebody saying the health message is going to motivate them. Anything else? Dog, perfect. Get a dog, it makes you walk. Perfect. Yes? Children. Yeah, we all want to be healthy for our children. We want to set a good example. I'm going to skip through this next bit just because I am running out of time and I've got some more prizes. Okay, so everyone stand up again for me. 
Who part if you participate in winter sports, skiing, snowboarding, stuff like that, fairly regularly, are you good at it? Sit down. Okay, I want two more champions. Hands up, first hands get a prize. One, two, lady there, okay. So I've got a ski lesson or snowboard lesson at the Chill Factory for you ladies, see me afterwards, okay? Great stuff. Okay, you can sit down again. Okay, so being active isn't just good for you, it's good for your business, okay? And, um, and I've got loads of stats that I can share with you after this if you're interested in finding out this stuff. Greater Sport, we are a charity, we do lots of things, but we do work with workplaces. We have fun stuff that you can get involved with, like the workplace games. We've got free software you can use to support people to be active in your workplace. We've got volunteer programs. Anything you need, we can provide a solution for you. And we are a charity, like I say, so this isn't about us making masses of profits. And the motivation thing's really important because some people want to do things to raise money for charity. And actually, that's a real driver. So if we know the motivation of our teams, we can unlock and get them to be more active. Finally, 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 my ask today, and I appreciate I've whistled through this, is to do two things. I want you to get your phones and follow at Greater Sport on Twitter, please. That would be really great because that means we can contact and communicate with you directly and you can see what's coming down the line, which is really exciting. The second thing, for the prize winners and the prize winners that are to come, um, I want you to uh, tweet, This Girl Can. And everybody, if you're doing any exercise, there's a national campaign called This Girl Can at the moment, doesn't matter what shape, what size, how fast, how slow, what we look like. Just exercise, take a selfie. I did it last night. Check mine out. I'm at Yvonne, uh, Yvonne H147. I look shocking. I'm sweating to death. But it's about just getting that message out and creating some noise. Now it's prize time, and I've got some very special prizes. Money can't buy this. Okay, so this is quite an exciting one. And I need 10 champions but I don't want people who leave here today and go yeah I might, I might just like try and rally the troops I want people that are going to make a genuine commitment within your business to work with us to try and get more people active okay we want to get some great case studies we can celebrate and share so who is up for that I need 10 hands one two three four five six seven eight at the back nine even I've got ten lady there okay so if I pointed at you come and see me basically I want you to be brave and take a risk with me so I'm going to take you to the home of British cycling okay Manchester velodrome we together with you Claire Marie because I got a special Brucey prize for you so there is I thought we've got to leave from the front here we're going to do an hour track session at the velodrome where the GB um, cyclist train with a GB coach, we're going to have a tour around the velodrome, we're going to do a bit of lunch, so it's a really special prize, and we're going to go as the IOD Northwest Women Directors Forum, so we're going to create that identity, get that social thing going, and it's going to be amazing, so that's my final thing for you today, this is a picture of This Girl Can, there is a video, I don't know if we can play it, it's very short, but it's really inspirational, so we'll see if that comes on. That's interesting when we're in this, this particular building that we can't actually <laughs> connect. Uh, go on to YouTube, type in This Girl Can, and please watch the video. It's amazing. It's an advert that's been on the telly, and you're going to see it again very, very soon. So a huge thank you from me to you for A, listening, and B, for giving me the opportunity, Claire Marie, to kind of share a bit of my story with you. There's information in your bags about greater sport. If you want to know anything more about what we do as a charity, please let me know. And equally, if you want to get involved in supporting and changing the lives of young people through sport and physical activity, we would love to talk to you. So thank you very much.